author of Trance Archive Selected Poetry from City Lights and The Cry at Zero Selected Prose from Counterpath Press. After two decades spent writing experimental poetry, he is returning to his first love, speculative fiction. Joran also plays theremin in a number of Bay Area jazz festivals. Everyone, Andrew Joran. Thanks, and I'm so proud to be reading here in the context of my speculative fiction class. Um, so I'm old enough to have witnessed the first landing uh, on the moon um, uh, on TV as a kid, and there was a glitch in the image. Um, it was upside down. So we saw Neil Armstrong climbing down the ladder, but climbing upward toward the surface of the moon, which was at the top of the screen. And it took them forever to fix the image, and it really left an impression on me uh, for the rest of my life. Um, and so the title of this uh, piece is called The Inverted World. During the decline of the Roman Empire, it was believed that the moon was the resting place of forgotten dreams, and that the moon's eastward motion caused an inaudible, deep, melancholic tone to propagate through the ether. A latent quietness, a null choir, Information continues to be exchanged between the spinning and the stationary worlds. Copyists continue to work in the burning libraries, producing timeless pages, wraith-like fabulations. On the far side of the moon, where the earth is never visible, the inhabitants are embraced by living machines. Meeting in vast underground gardens, rhetoricians uphold the myth that human beings, indeed all life, originated on the moon and that the moon itself must be the true earth. It is argued that the true earth, now airless and sterile, was stripped of its biosphere in some primeval conflict. The old world's thinnest crescent, a whisper of light, photograph of an inverted birth, widely distributed, showing the figure of a man ascending a ladder, feet first, toward the rocky floor of heaven. Winter was followed by autumn, Another error in transcription. The wind was disassembled, dissembled, into, through, so many voices. Nothing equals anything, an elegant proof of zero's secret marriage to infinity. Pallid union of indivisibles kept safe inside the curve of a knife. A feather falling in a vacuum. N. Armstrong's words, spoken centuries ago, as he stepped, the first man, onto the ground of the true earth. We Americans have outlived the end of the world. The great cataclysms of history all appear to have ended. Our fragmented identities are carried forward in time only by attenuating waves of radio noise. As the Indian shamans predicted, the land called Turtle Island has been repopulated by ghost tribes simulacra of the living. Nevertheless, a few among us have sensed, with the shadow sensations available to ghosts, a desire to return to our true home in the moon. <laughs>